Hey, JNM here with a new Blender tutorial. This one is about texture painting low poly meshes. But before we start, let me announce a new course by Zach Reinhardt called Cubic Worlds. It is about creating nice low poly animated scenes with Blender in that all the meshes are based on cubes. You will be able to create scenes like this here and Zach explains how to create the meshes, effects, animations from scratch. So you can follow along step by step the link can be found in the description, check it out, it's amazing. Now this is Blender 3 and you can see a very simple model that I created here in the viewport. This is one mesh and I tap into edit mode so that you can see the mesh. It is quite low poly. And now I hover over the different parts and press the L key to select them. You see the knob is separated but it is a part of the mesh and also these indentations here at the backside. The bevels here in object mode look very crisp and this is because I added a bevel and a weighted normal modifier. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to colorize the mesh, the part at the back side, the front and the knob. So the first thing that I will do is to UV unwrap the mesh, so I go to edit mode, x-ray and face selection. Then I press B to box select and I select this part here, these faces. I want to UV unwrap, so I open a new window and then the UV editor. Alright, to UV unwrap this part, I press the U key and then choose Smart UV Project. In the UV editor, I press S and scale down the UV islands. Then I press the G key to move around these. UVs. I want to keep them separated so that we know later on on which parts we are going to paint. I press Ctrl and the I key to invert the selection and with the Shift key pressed I hover over the knob and press L to remove this part from the selection. Ok, we don't need X-Ray anymore. And again I unwrap as before, I press the U key and go to Smart UV Project. And this is the second UV island that I scale down and move to a different location. Alright, now what is left? The knob. Hover with the cursor over it and press L to select it, then U Smart UV Project. Again, scale it down, move. And here we go, now select all, scale it up a bit. And now we have three UV islands on that we can paint separately. But how to paint? First, let's have a look at the material that is assigned to the model. It is just the principal shader with a black color. When I change here in the viewport to the material preview, you can see it. Simple, but now I want to add an image to that we are going to paint. So I switch here to the texture paint mode. But still we can't paint, because there's no texture, no image assigned to the material. You could add it manually and assign it here to the base color input. Or we switch here to the texture paint workspace, like that. Then you see here on the left side the material for 2D painting, with the UVs of the mesh. And in the properties for the active tool, we can define a base color slot. I set it to 2K and what happens then is that an image is created and assigned to the base color input. It is fully black, I have to select it here on the left side. And when I open the shader editor, you can see the image that is assigned to the base color input. Ok, in the window on the left side I switch now to the paint mode. 
like that. And now we can paint onto the UVs. I select the color, for example, a red tone. And then I paint. I press F to increase the brush size, but you see this is the part at the front, but I wanted to paint the part at the back side, this one here. And then you can see it in the viewport, we just painted onto these UVs. Okay, I keep the black color for the part at the front. This looks nice, but for the knob I want to use a gray tone. So select it here, kind of dark gray. And then I paint over the UVs for the knob. So you see it's simple to paint onto the UVs, but of course you can always go ahead and use a color to paint directly onto the mesh. Okay guys, that's what I wanted to show, I hope you like it, and don't forget to check out Cubic Worlds by Zach Reinhardt, it's an amazing course, you'll learn step by step to create animated, nice looking low poly scenes, link is in the description below. Guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook, support me by being my patron or join as a channel member, this helps a lot and nice perks are waiting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon here on JNM.